Hey everyone, so today I just want to discuss a common problem that's been giving GT350 owners a headache since the introduction of this car, and that's regarding the non-adjustable and adjustable strut mounts, also commonly referred to as caster camber plates. Now this may affect some early 2020 gt 500s I'm not sure when Ford switched those cars over from having the correct one installed from the factory, but uh, the reason this has been giving GT350 owners an issue for such a long time is up until probably early 2020 production, all cars would let left the factory with the non-adjustable ones. Now, if you bought a GT350 with the handling package or a GT350R, the car was spec to have a set of adjustable strut mounts. But like I said, they all, up until the early part of 2020, left with these non-adjustables. Now, where this became a huge headache was rather than Ford putting these in the car with all the other dealer in installed accessories like the splitter and a cover, uh, and the wheel locks and anything else that was supposed to be dealer installed, they would send these directly to the parts department with your VIN number on it. And the parts departments were notorious for losing these things. Now, the reason they put the VIN number on just to basically show that it was marked for your vehicle. But like I said, a lot of parts departments would lose these things and the purchasing dealer would end up having to order another set. Now, they weren't the vehicle specific. The VIN number, like I said, was just to sort of earmark it to the side so it was reserved for your car and they're all the exact same uh, parts if you had to order a new set now as far as identifying if yours is factory installed or dealer installed uh, on the window sticker under the equipment group it, it'll say adjustable strut mount if it says dealer installed accessory that basically means that the purchasing dealer is responsible for putting the correct ones the adjustable ones on if it says factory equipment I believe on some of the later cars then that means that the correct one one was installed from the factory now, like I said, the purchasing dealer, like it says on the window sticker, is responsible for putting the correct ones on. So do not let the purchasing dealer try to charge you for putting these on. They are responsible for billing Ford. However, if you don't have them put on by the purchasing dealer and want to have them put on later by a different dealer, you will be charged for changing these out. And it is pretty expensive. It's definitely going to cost you at least a few hundred dollars to have another dealer do it. So just be aware of that. But the purchasing dealer is responsible for billing for it and responsible for doing that's included in the price of the vehicle. Do not let them try to uh, charge you separately for doing this. That is not your responsibility. Now, I just want to go over how to identify each one. Obviously, they look different, but I just want to talk about it because it's not as easy to identify when they're in the car. And I'll actually show you on my car. Uh, what they actually physically look like. Now, like I said, this is the non-adjustable. Here's the part number for the non-adjustable. Uh, the non-adjustable ones are not side specific. They uh, basically are, like I said, they're non-adjustable, so it'll go on either side, driver or passenger, it does not matter. Uh, you have this silver part here is recessed pretty deep. This is where the actual strut mounts to. There'll normally be a bolt on top of that. You also have this gigantic piece of rubber down here underneath the metal housing basically to uh, act as a little bit of a vibration dampener. And the easiest way to tell when it's installed in the car is the actual metal housing here. You have these two cutouts that are opposite each other. They're 180 degrees apart. They have this little rounded cutout, almost like, looks like it was kind of sort of drilled. So that's the easiest way. You can look down and see these two opposite side cutouts. Uh, on the adjustable one, how you can tell is the sticker, here's the part number for it. The passenger side, as it's labeled right here, passenger side obviously, is part number 83. If it's driver side, it's part number 84. So that's how you can tell. Obviously the sticker looks a lot different. It's got this big barcode on it with the Ford logo. Uh, this whole housing here, this whole black part of the housing is completely flat all the way across. And then you also have the silver uh, recess piece where the struts gonna bolt to now. This is a two-piece design That's what also makes this a little different. So here's the lower part. It's got the studs on it The studs are not designed to come out uh, Here's the bottom part of the adjustable one now. These are typically zip tied when you get them in the box So this will kind of look like one piece, but you just got to cut the zip ties off and this is a single piece design So now this will come with a set of all new hardware it's the exact same hardware that came on the car on the non-adjustables, but they have the uh, nuts have nylon on them, so, there's, so they're designed not to uh, vibrate loose. But Ford specifies them as a one-time only use. So once you take the ones off that came on the uh, on the factory non-adjustables, 
you're supposed to throw them out and use all the new hardware that's uh, exactly identical with the new one. So let's go ahead and just take a look at my adjustable ones that are already mounted on the car. Uh, oh, you can just ignore these little uh, Velcro dots. I have a set of JLT strut mounts on the car just to clean the look up a little bit. Now, how you can tell on the car is, like I said, you can see that this is all flat. It doesn't have those two little uh, indent pieces and all the metal, the black metal down here is all flat. And typically you can also see the sticker in there. You can see the part number, the 84. And if you really are able to look at an extreme angle in there, you'll see it'll say driver side. That's also something you want to check. Make sure they put the driver side and the driver side and the passenger side and the passenger side because they are specific and they adjust uh, on a diagonal. So if they put them on wrong, you won't be able to uh, adjust it properly. But you, like I said, if you're not sure, pop the hood and definitely look for that sticker. Uh, the two stickers, as we saw before, are noticeably different from each other. So that's a pretty easy way to tell. And then you can also tell by the part number. And this is what I was just talking about, about how they adjust on a slight angle. So it is very important that they uh, they go on the correct side. So I hope this video helps everybody out. I know I went through this process when I purchased my car. I lost my set of originals, had to order me a new set, and I had to have the dealer put them on, and they weren't too familiar with this process because um, not a lot of dealers will sell a ton of these things. So I had to go through and explain this to them, and that sort of delayed the car getting shipped. But uh, if you're just sort of wondering which one your car comes with, now you know how to, how to identify which one, how to pop the hood and take a look, or if you're not able to, how to at least look on the window sticker itself. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.